YouTube, it's Deal with Shuros here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an intro in Cinema 4D and After Effects, just like the ones that I make usually, but this time you guys will know how to make it yourself, so you guys don't have to ask me to make them for you, because I've been getting a lot of requests. So, I'm um, just going to open up uh, Cinema 4D, well, I just have this uh, file open, so I'll just make a new one. Okay, so let's start from fresh start. Ignore that. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is um, MoGraph Mo Text. Write whatever you want. I'm just gonna write Stevo. Okay, any kind of font. Center it up. at 45 degrees right into the middle just uh, bring this down Stevo. okay now we're gonna take the text and keyframe it to whatever we want to do so like let's say you want to go all the way to 30 and make this move this way and flip a 360 just do 360 here 360 and then make a 360 this way so that's negative 360 oh we have a problem negative 310, I guess. No, negative 320. Something's messed up with my system, so I don't know. So, yeah, now you see it go like this. Like, wee! Stuff like that. Okay. And now, um, let's say you want to keyframe the view. So, like, make the view jump up and jump down. So, what you're going to do is going to make a new camera. And then go to cameras, use camera, click on camera. So now in the thing you can make this like right at 30, 15, it would go like click on the automatic keyframe, go up, and then then like at 30 at 25 it'd go like down all the way up. Like that, and then at 30, it's just gonna zoom at, zoom in at them. Okay, see how that looks. I know it's pretty like messed up, but yeah. We. So yeah, and then now you're gonna like color whatever you want it to be. Usually when I make text, I make it like shiny and glossy. So just make a bright color, reflection, texture, Fresnel. I'll make that to 25 and make that to so mixed strength 30 right in is 25 that's good like that row text it's red okay so now it's red and everything we got it it's good pretty good um and you got the keyframe and everything now we're just going to go into the settings and uh, click on alpha channel because the background is always transparent whenever i make it and then presets film video make it I usually make it 720p I like 720p and I make frame rate 24 and also remember to do all frames for your thing not just one frame and also the output usually I'm I mean the save output usually I put it into a uh, quick time and enable whatever I want for save time I'm not gonna save already cuz I already made it so um, yeah, that's pretty much what you do. And also, if you want to add some light to make it better, just make that light. Uh, and then to make good lights, and you don't have like other presets like I do, like third-party presets of lights, just do this. Get the light array, put the light in the array, and then space them out to 750, and go to light and bring down the brightness to 25 and then bring them up 
Sorry. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's not bad. It's like whatever. So that's pretty much it. And now we're just gonna head into After Effects. I'll pause this for a second. And we'll be right back with you guys. Okay, now we're here in After Effects. <coughs> and I've got my footage, so just drag it into a new composition. So I got my composition. I know this is a different video. I just, I didn't render it well, so I just got this one. So yeah. So now we got our footage, and I suggest you guys get Twitch and optical flares from Vehicle Pilot to make these tutorials, because that's pretty much what I only use for my intros, because it makes them really look nice and everything. So yeah. I'm just gonna wait for this to open. My computer is a dinosaur, that's why. So yeah, I got the optical flares and the twitch. So let's add twitch to that. So optical flares, put it into render mode over original. So like that. And now options, go to options for the optical flares. And go to show presets, motion graphics, and I usually like to use this one. Yeah, so I use this one. And then I take out the irises because I, I just hate those. These are the multi iris too. And the lens orbs. And these lens orbs. Actually, I like these. And the multi iris. And then I'm going to have it. Brightness a bit stronger, and then click OK. And after that, just let that happen, and then put it down here. That's how I make my bottom flash. And I also go to flicker, and I move go to flicker sharp, make the speed go up to let's say five, and then mount. 100. Make that flicker, and uh, what I'm gonna do to the footage, I'm gonna make it uh, put down the brightness so the um, so the optical flourish really stands out. So, yeah, let's go. Mm, I think it's in color correction. Alright, it's in contrast, drag that in. And put the brightness a bit lower. Like that. How's that look? Yeah, okay, that's good. And this gate this brightness for this. Oh crap. Make the brightness like 200. Okay, that's good. Wow, my computer is slow. How does this look? Yeah, okay. And now we're gonna do the twitch and we're gonna open up a new adjustment layer. And take the twitch, drag that into the adjustment layer. And you guys know what? Um, for the effects, copy the um, optical flares if you have done this already and you're following with me. And we're put it into the adjustment layer instead. And so it just it looks better. So I'm just gonna take out the optical clears from this one. So look at that. And now make the brightness really low. <coughs> oh crap. Make the optical flare brightness a lot lower. 
I'm gonna keep it at 100 for now. And uh, for this, I'm just gonna put down the contrast because it got so retarded. better and now for dust layer for the twitch we're gonna go to presets I usually don't use presets but this is just one preset I just love to use blue glow it's really good and um, you're gonna go to options and then blur tint this is when you can make it blue red but I'm just gonna for sake of time I'm just gonna keep it at blue and yeah I'm gonna see how this renders out It's like it's pretty sick. <coughs> and then also with Twitch, I'm not another Twitch, so let's say you wanna mess up with the footage, add Twitch to the movie footage, and just go to enable. I don't know, like a slide. And also go to behavior, and click on expand so it doesn't mirror or mess up your footage. So and now we're just gonna keyframe it because it just looks retarded actually change the tile tile if you know what I mean so it slides like that but I'm gonna put down speed to 2.5 and keyframe it when I want to have it so keyframe the slide so go to the beginning of your composition keyframe on I mean off keyframe the first slide and then keyframe it to go on I guess right when the letters hit I'll do one twitch And then bring it back down right after that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna.